the statement would that be if you guys could meet the Ravens on Sunday? I mean, we're just coming ready to play Sunday. Uh, I'm not really, you know, out here trying to, you know, say, oh, if we beat the Ravens, then we, we put ourselves in this position. We just taking every every Sunday, one Sunday at a time, just going out there to compete. And, uh, you know, our biggest thing is to win. Uh, win in the first energy stadium, you know, that's our home turf. So uh, that's, our, that's our focus. Uh, it's not too much of, oh, let's make a statement here, let's make a statement there. It's just win the games that we, we have coming up, and that's the Ravens. Christian, uh, you talked a lot this week about finishing games. Yeah. Um, a couple of your teammates this week also, you know, what could have been, obviously now you have to look forward, but what's it going to take to finish off some of these games? What do you have to do? Well, um, we just got to make the plays that come our way. The plays that we're supposed to make, we have to make them. Uh, we can't have any crucial plays of, you know, turnovers or, you know, just blowing assignments. We got to make sure we eliminate that. And, you know, hopefully certain calls can go our way. Um, that's something that, you know, I believe that can that definitely help us as well. We all understand that, uh, you know, it's a uh, next man up business. Right. And when a guy like Mitchell goes down, it is next man up. Yeah. But just to uh, kind of put in perspective what you lose when you lose a player like Mitchell, what, what was he bringing to the team? Well, uh, T. Mitch, you know, he's definitely bringing that energy. Um, you know, his way of having an a eye for the ball, uh, whether it's, you know, a forced fumble or whether it's getting an a interception um, to, you know, clinch the game, um, that's something he brings to the table. But, you know, EJ Gaines stepped right in, you know, when he went down and got an interception as well. So we got guys in that room that can, uh, you know, have game-changing plays. And, you know, we always preach. You know, we're all starters. We're all in it together. So if a guy go hurt, you know, if guys get hurt, then we know that the next guy is, is ready and prepared, uh, just like if he was a starter. Joe so Flacco historically loves these and his tight ends. Yeah. What type of challenge does that present? I mean, you, you played against him for years, but just the challenge that presents for you guys trying to, to, to stop that type of approach. Uh, just, just know where they are on the field. Um, take away his hot throws. Take away his main guys that he's targeting the most. Um, and, you know, Greg will put us in the, the perfect defensive call. And if it's not, then, you know, we're just going to have to, you know, beat the man in front of us. Uh, that's the name of the game. It's the name of football. Uh, I know that they'll be well prepared to, you know, face us, uh, use their tight ends. And uh, especially 86 is great in, uh, in blocking. Uh, you know, he's one of the, the best blocking tight ends in the league. But we just got to make sure that we take their red dot guys and eliminate them from the game and make them beat us somewhere else. With Flacco and with Roethlisberger and with Andy Dalton, I mean, you faced uh, those guys more than anybody else throughout your career, and they're playing every year. But when that happens, you almost, I mean, you obviously watch film. It's almost like you don't have to. You know what they're going to do. Uh, I mean, you all, you, you got to watch film um, because they know that we're watching what they're doing. They know that we're game planning. They know all of that. So they're going to try to throw in a couple wrinkles and things like that. So we got to make sure that um, we're, we're prepared to go out there and win on Sunday, but go out there and uh, win with a purpose and go out there and make sure we tell him, these guys are not gonna beat us. Somebody else gotta beat us. And uh, that's really the end of the day.